The common test for Update 1.0.2 has started. The Klondike map will return, customization will be improved, and balance fixes for the Object 268 version 4 will be made in this update. It will also bring several improved maps and two new Tier 10 Soviet tanks. After Update 9.22, tanks covered by canvas appeared in World of Tanks. There were neither their names nor their technical characteristics. Now it's time to break cover. The K-91 and Object 277 join the common test. The K-91 is the crown of the branch of Soviet medium tanks with a rear-mounted turret. In terms of characteristics, it's a successor of the Object 416. It has thin hull and turret armor, poor gun depression angles, decent speed for a Soviet medium tank, and a very interesting gun. Its damage per shot is 320. Not much for a Tier 10 tank, but this is well compensated for with its other gun characteristics. Accuracy, aiming time, and more importantly, excellent damage per minute. Another of its advantages is good concealment for its type. Characteristics say that the K-91's role in the battle is support. It should play from the second, or even better, from the third line of attack. The Object 430 version 2 was rebalanced in the same way as the development of the Object 416. It lost some armor, but received higher damage per minute. Another new Soviet tank is the Object 277. This vehicle is tuned to keep the gameplay of the T-10, not to remove its drawbacks such as poor gun depression angles and hull armor, and keep its advantages such as good speed and maneuverability, as well as reliably armored turret and convenient gun. The Object 268 version 4 rolled out to the test with new characteristics. When it first appeared, it performed well right away. And it's not surprising because the best players were the first to get it. So it was too early to make conclusions. With time, its performance dropped a little, but it was still too high compared to other vehicles of the same tier and type. The improvements are aimed at bringing the general combat effectiveness of the object down to normal, while keeping the main features of this vehicle. Excellent maneuverability and mobility, strong armor, and high reverse speed. What exactly its characteristics will be in Update 1.0.2 is still an open question. The decision will be made based on the common test results. Now, let's talk maps. You can try out four improved maps on the common test. These changes were added on the basis of statistics and player feedback. On Malinovka, the team's spawn points were moved farther away from each other. The bushes on the balcony now grow in a different way, and the terrain was changed slightly. Now it's more convenient to spot enemies from here. The church under the hill was turned, and a lowland was added there. A shoot-through from the swamp to the ascent appeared. In general, these changes are aimed at strengthening the team playing from the northern base. Similar changes were made to fjords to make battles for players at the northern base more successful. Houses were put here to cover the road from enemy fire from the lower base. Now it's more convenient to play the turret at the edge of the ravine, and an alternate route to the base appeared on the hill descent. Erlenberg received its share of changes as well. The biggest changes were made in the castle area. Defending it is now more difficult. The position on the bank was improved. Now it's more convenient to shoot at the area behind the castle from here. A rock was put on the left flank to provide cover during an attack. Mountain Pass A number of convenient positions were added for the upper base team. Positions used by the lower base team remained intact. Grand Battles will feature two maps again. The Klondike map returns to the game. It will receive a new HD look. Besides this, no other changes were made to it. The gameplay on this map will remain the same. The customization system was also improved on the common test. Players were saying that it was hard to imagine how the vehicle would look in the game when painting it. The appearance of the new garage should solve this problem. Lighting has been set so that colors display more like they will appear in battle. Customization will be available for all Tier 8 and 10 vehicles. 
That's all for now. Join the common test, battle, and remember to leave your feedback. We're making the game together.